Welcome back. Um, this is the next next tutorial in the SFML with OpenGL integration um, series. Basically, it's it's a series. You know, that's eventually just going to be specific to op learning OpenGL. But uh, for the meantime, we're setting everything up. So last tutorial, we had this window said "Hello World," cleared it to red, and it was fancy. Um, now we're going to encapsulate that functionality and set it up so it's it, it's function similar to um, sort of like uh, XNA like like with like a game class. Um, so I'm gonna create a um, uh, add a class. I'm gonna call this. It's gonna have a virtual destructor. It's going to be called um, game app. Might as well. Um, Okay, so here we go. Now what we're gonna need are I'm just gonna grab these includes and we're gonna start by um, getting rid of the uh, the default constructor and there's gonna be one that takes a title an unsigned int width and a unsigned int height. So the title of the window or the app, the width and the height. And of course we're going to have um, uh, a non-copy destructor which basically um, yeah I think that's how you do it. No, 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 you just go like that. Um, and we're also going to have, um, we're going to have game app creator uh, equals const game app and There we go. So now um, we overloaded the equals operator so that it can't. Uh, so you can't say you can only have one instance of a game app. You can't be creating multiple. It wouldn't make much sense. So um, what we're going to do is have our uh, main application loop. So uh, this in this instance is going to be void. In the past. Um, it was returned in int, but now it doesn't have to. Um, and this is going to be our framework methods. So we're going to have virtual void um, init equals zero. And that should be a bool. And then we're going to have virtual void update, which is going to take a SF timer. Our time. I wait now. SF. SF time. I guess. Um, might as well make that a reference. Virtual void uh, render. It's also going to take time value and. Might as well have some sort of cleanup method. Now these should all be pure virtual, meaning they uh, the inheriting class must override these. Um, and then we're just going to need a couple um, private or protected. No private. Uh, we're going to need the window. Call it window. And a clock. Okay, so now, um, well, this is epic fail. Stop working. Now it's going to restart.
Well, here we're back. Um, so yeah, that was probably because it freaked out because of my recording app, uh, program. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, set up this constructor. Now the problem with we can't just set um, m window equal to an SF window because these are non-copyable objects. So we have to just initialize it here um, with our uh, with a video mode with the width and height that we want and then our title so there we go with that um, and then destructor we're not going to do anything with and we're just going to implement our run so in here like before um, we can actually just copy it might as well um, we're just going to copy this completely we're going to remove the OpenGL clear stuff um, and we're going to change this to M, M window, M underscore window. That's Hungarian notation. Same thing with this and same thing with this and same thing with this. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, um, SF time time equals clock dot uh, restart. So every frame we're going to restart this clock and get um, a like delta time value basically. And then we're going to update by passing in that time and render passing in time. And there we go. And over here, we're going to call um, what, clean up. Right? Yep. Clean up. Resources before exiting. Um, all the event messages um, the only one really we really need to handle is if you hit the X X button up here uh, and that's all you really need there um, so what we can do here is we can get rid of this now so we're not going to need it we can get rid of these and now all we have to include is game app and we can create class um, test app public game app extends it um, test app is going to have const char pointer title uh, unsigned int width unsigned int height um, it's also going to have the same thing const test app other and test app equals const test app and it's going to have a regular destructor, so not a virtual one. And these are framework overloads. Uh, so here we go. We have our uh, bool init override void. Um, oh, we never actually called init, which would be good. So call init there. So initialize. Um, Here's our update. Um, override is a keyword specific to uh, Visual C++, I think. I, ex I explained that in a, another tutorial. It might have been implemented in other compilers, I'm not sure. but um, And then void clean, clean up. OK. So now I'm just going to start, uh, I don't, whoa, cancel, um, implementation, okay, should I not make that virtual, nope, oh, that's because it's not a, uh, forgot the N, there we go, um, what else, okay. Create implementation for that. 
create an implementation for this. Like that. And finally, clean up. Okay. So for here, we're just going to call the game apps. Now, you don't have to actually even recreate the constructor. You could just have an empty constructor and then call the base and pass in whatever values you you know that you want this this um, game to be. But I'm just going to continue keep it keep it like that. Um, in it, we're not really going to do anything. We don't get to do anything here. Um, we're just going to test it out first. So test app, t app, and we're going to say uh, test application. 800, 600. And then we're just going to call tia.run. And let's see if this works. Oh, whoops, I forgot. Yeah, return true. So there you go. So now it's 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 running. Now another thing that you might want to add is if if not in it, you might want to um, include iostream for a second and then do just do a uh, um, something like this. That quit uh, that you know displays a little message. Okay, um so now with render we'll just do GL clear, GL color, buffer bit. And in in it we'll set the GL um, clear color to 1.0, 1 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0